Hi everyone, it's Kiwi here for Soy and Chain. Thank you so much for joining me for another soap making video. In today's soap, I'm going to be using some of the soap gemstones that we created in Wednesday's video, and I will leave a link for you up above so you can have a look at that. I'm using a custom blend of fragrance oils today. I'm using Energy from Aroma, which has notes of lemon, lime, pomegranate and pineapple with a hint of jasmine. And I've mixed that up with a little bit of sparkling watermelon fragrance, which again has those citrus notes and pineapple, along with a little bit of watermelon and peach. Now the reason I decided to mix these two is because I love the smell of the Energy Fragrance Oil but I wanted it to have that little bit more pizzazz about it and the sparkling watermelon has this really bubbly sort of smell to it so by mixing the two I've got this really bubbly fruity fragrance. I also chose to mix them because when I um, first used the Energy Fragrance Oil which was right back when I first started soaping I noticed that it did move trace a little bit faster than what I wanted whereas that sparkling watermelon really slows trace down so I'm hoping that by combining the two I'll get a soap batter which traces just perfectly so fingers crossed for that okay so let's get to making this soap as always in my bucket or my jug here I have my oils and I've got them at a room temperature we're sitting at 29 degrees so it's a little bit hotter than what I do like to soap at but I really need to get this one done today I'm also hoping that my new jug is big enough to hold everything in it we will wait and find out what I'm going to do is pour in my lye water solution into my oils. I'm going to give it a very light blend, bring it to emulsification because it is so much warmer today than what I have been soaping at. I don't want to accelerate the chase, so we'll just keep it to a really light emulsion here. Okay, so I'm going to split this out for my colours and today I have decided to pull out the neons which I've got from my Mica Obsession. Some of these have a few odd names. This one I think is Carbazol. I will put the names up on the screen as well so you can have a good laugh at however I'm pronouncing them. This blue is called Capri. We then have in here some Alizarian on here. And finally, we have some Harlequin Green as well. So I'm just going to put these in, mix them up. So even though my um, both of my fragrance oils have 0% vanillin in them, I'm actually going to be making a black soap today because I thought the neons would look really pretty against that black and especially those... Um, gemstones that we've made as well. All right, so I'm going to give these a quick mix up just so we don't get it to trace too quickly and then I am thinking I'm going to do a kind of an in the pot swell before pouring it into our mould. Okay, so now I'm just going to give this a stir as well just to make sure that those colours are well incorporated in there. I've not given it too much of a stick blend because from past experience the neons on me actually do move quite or thicken the soap quite quickly and I really do want to try and keep this a little bit more fluid. I'm also going to stir in that fragrance which will hopefully um, thin it out just a little bit more for me as well. So we've got those mixed up and what I'm going to do is do a hopefully an in the pot swirl so I'm just going to pour about half of this uh, yeah about half of it for now so we can top it up a little bit more as we go along it is thickening up on me so I'm going to move a little bit quicker I'm just going to pour these four colors across the middle here making sure I come up nice and high so it drops down as far as possible. I'm now going to go and grab that mould. Here it is. And I'm going to pour from the centre of the mould 
for now. Just let those colours run. Now I'm going to finish pouring in some more and I'm just going to work in the opposite direction this time. of a shuffle down like so. Just going to scrape some of these pots out. Just pop that on the top and then I'm going to put the hanger through it just to get those colours to swirl a little bit because it really has thickened up on me a lot more than what I was hoping. So lesson to me that adding a slow tracing fragrance oil to a quick tracing one doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> but you know we have to try these things just to find out how and if it will work otherwise how else would we find these things out that's that one and we'll get the rest of this alizarian out of the pot I'll give those containers a bit more of a scrape down in a minute but for now I just actually want to get that hanger through look at the mess I've made today all right, let's get some swirls happening through here. Go back over that way. And that should be enough. We'll get this excess off here. I'm going to scrape out those little jugs as much as I possibly can. And then I'm going to mound that black onto the top of here. All right, before I go much further, I am going to clean up just a little bit of this mess that I've made. I, I really like these new bowls that I have found to buy but I think I'm going to have to be smarter about what size um, soap that I'm making. I kind of vary the amount of oils I use between 1.7 kilos to 2, 2.2 kilos of oil. This was a 2.2 kilo batch so this is probably just a little bit too much for this bowl, but I'd say if I'm only making a 1.7 kilo batch of oils, it is going to be the perfect size for me. It just depends about how high I want the soaps to sit and what sort of design is going on the top. This one I wanted to sit quite high, um, so that's why we've put that little bit extra oil in there. They are nice and easy to scrape out though if you're interested in these bowls and you are in the Brisbane area particularly on the south side there is a shop over in Kapalabar called the Golden Circle Shop and they currently have them in stock there they're a rubber made so I'd suspect that you would be able to get them in a few other places but probably not for as cheap as what you can pick them up in the Golden Circle Shop I think I paid about four dollars each for these bowls and they really are nice for scraping out and they was actually quite easy to stick blend just wasn't so easy to stir the fragrance in but I think if I've got less oils I should be right all right let's get this smoothed over I really want the black on the top rather than some of those colors because I want those gemstones to really pop and to really show up against the black background. So we'll just cover this over. Oh, poor mess. <laughs> All right, let's get that up. I, if only this camera could pick up more of the mess I've got. I've got it all up on my splash back on the back here. It is everywhere, but that's okay. If you're not making mess when you're making soap, you're not enjoying yourself is what I say. So I'm just going to grab that spoon that I used for the um, for the charcoal and I'm just going to texture the top. There's no rhyme or reason to it. I just want some little peaks just to give the top of the soap that little bit more texture. So I'll go through all of that. And then of course you can't have a gemstone soap without a little bit of sparkle. So we'll get some sparkles out to go on this one as well. Okay, I have got some of that Blizzard Mica, which I'm just going to spray across the top here, and that will give it a really nice sheen. 
and I am also thinking we need just a little bit more color in there so we will grab the rainbows rainbow dreams glitter and that's just got a little bit of an iridescent shine to it so we're going to spray some of that over the top too okay now it's time to get our gemstones in so here we are each of these soaps are going to have a different colored gemstone then I'm not really saying what sort of stone they are I just decided I wanted lots of different colors on this one so let's start placing so this will be my end with the sample piece on so I'm just going to start down here pushing them down in between those lines there so this is the first soap that I have made since we got back from off holiday it is very very warm here so I probably shouldn't really be soaping but the um, curing rack is looking a little bit bare at the moment so we had an absolutely wonderful time while on holiday and if you follow along with me on Instagram I did actually post some pictures of the things that we saw and we did while we were over there and while we were there I saw my dream my absolute dream and my husband knew we were in trouble when we <laughs> walked into this shop so we went to Perth which is over in Western Australia and there's a region down the south of Perth called the Margaret River region and it's where a lot of Australia's wines are grown so there and in South Australia is the other sort of big winery place but in the Margaret River there are lots and lots of wineries and then there's also all the cider places and lots and lots of other things that they grow around there and I'd seen a couple of olive growing places and on our last day before we were driving back up to go and see my friends or to stay back with them I opened up one of the tour books and saw a place called Vass Virgin and I said to my husband can we please go there today they had soaps bath and body and all sorts so off we trotted to go and have a look at this place and when I walked through the door I was in absolute heaven it was my dream come true it was a huge shed with a massive workshop area which is something that I am aspiring to make myself and then the little shop attached and they had this station where you could actually go and test and play with all the different products and that was just so much fun and my husband said to me is this what we're going to have in a few years time it's like yep this is what I'm working for it really was such a magical place and if you are a soap maker um, or bath and body creator or if you just love soaps if ever you are in South Australia and in that sort of region have a look for Vass Virgin and go in and have a look it is absolutely stunning now I think this particular one is a little bit too big so I'm just going to go and grab my bucket of other gems and we'll use that one instead so we'll go on there but we had an absolutely wonderful time while we were in Perth we're happy to be back home but it really is such a beautiful place over there okay so they are now all in I am going to bring you down for a closer look of this I'm going to call it sparkling energy seeing as we mix those two fragrance I'm going to bring you down so you can have a closer look of this one okay so here is sparkling energy up close you can see that it is well and truly sparkly it is smelling amazing and I'm hoping that we get some really good colors on the inside here now I'm going to do something that I don't usually do with my soaps because this is a black soap I am going to insulate this well in between some towels with a box over the top and hopefully try and get it to gel so that that black really pops so we're going to leave this sit here overnight and I'll be back tomorrow to cut it open So I am back to cut sparkling energy. You can see it's really sparkly on the top. I'm thinking we're going to get some nice swirls and I'm pretty sure this has gelled all the way through because that black is nice and shiny and glossy. So I'm going to get it lined up onto the multi-bar cutter here and 
sides that's about right and then we're going to cut straight through now I will apologize now I did a little bit of a look on the playback of the video and I think on some scenes I have missed um, the camera a little bit um, just before we went away on holiday I took the tripod apart um, to do something else with it and I don't think I quite got it back at the right angle and hadn't realized when I started recording the video so we're almost all the way through so this time I'll try and make sure I stay in the camera frame and this I think is going to be really pretty so we'll grab this yellow one first and that is gorgeous just so sort of oh that side's really bright <laughs> So I really like that with just the little bits of the speckles of colour and then as you come over this side it is got lots of colour and a beautiful swirl through it too. It really does look like that bar of soap has just got lots of energy going through it. So there again is just a few of the little bits of colour and that one's got just a few little speckles as well. So depending upon whether you want a really colourful bar of soap or not. Um, the black part having that activated charcoal in it that's going to be really good for your skin while you're having a shower and I am really really loving this once it's had a little bit of a clean up of the sides to get rid of all of that um, sort of jaggedy bit that should look really nice and I'm loving how each piece have got their own unique um, soapstone on the top as well this has come up better than what I was thinking it was going to. You know when you just have an image in your head of what you want your soap to look like? And well, as I've said, I never kind of really try and keep to those plans. But I really was hoping that I would get a really nice wispy sort of swirl through this one. Because it was setting up quite quickly on me, I was a little bit worried that it was going to have a lot more heavier sort of drops in it. But by putting that hanger through with them, I've got some beautiful swirls through there too. So and that's the top of that one. See, so it's got all that real sparkly shine from off the glitter and the mica. And each of those little gemstones have got the blizzard mica in, so they are really shiny as well. And the pattern, I've got a couple of little air bubbles in there, but that's okay. I'll be able to sort those ones out a little bit later. So I think this would have to be one of my favourite pieces out of the whole block here. I really love the detail in that swirl and there actually is a little bit of all of the colours in this particular bar but that green really pops against that black background. So I'm really really pleased that this has actually gelled all the way to the edge. I don't usually gel my soaps at all, I just let them do as they want to do but because this was a black one and I really wanted those neons to pop I decided that this one had to go under that force gel. The fragrance is holding really, really well. It is nice and strong, a really sweet fragrance, but you also get that real ever essence sort of smell from off of the sparkling watermelon. So I hope you have enjoyed watching how I make my sparkly energy soap. If you did, why not leave me a thumbs up and any comments down below. If you have any questions, I will get back to you as soon as I can. If you haven't already, why not subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell sign and that will let you know the next time I upload a video and I will be bringing you another midweek video this week. So until then, have a great one and I'll see you later. Bye.